Chris Cadenac not only changed the game of volleyball at the University of Tampa, but in the entire Tampa region. Cadenac has an astonishing 1,097 wins, 18 30-win seasons, and two 40-win seasons. On three separate occasions, he has reached the promised land of being crowned Division II National Champions. Cadenac has served on NCAA Regional Committees, NCAA National Committees, and AVCA Committees, while also helping grow the Sunshine State in a Division II power. He has left his stamp on Tampa Volleyball. I grew up in the Virgin Islands on the island of St. Croix. My brother went to school at New Mexico State back at the time that uh, Mary Jo Pepler and Marilyn McCreevy were running the pseudo national team out of there. And he played on a men's club team, so they uh, practiced against the women. So he picked up some pretty good fundamentals, came back home, lived in St. Croix for a little bit after graduation. And um, that was my, my introduction into volleyball. I went into college uh, at Bethany College up in West Virginia because I wanted to try to play football. And after about six weeks of that, I realized I wasn't gonna, it wasn't going to be for me. So um, the volleyball team was starting up. It was coached by the women's softball coach. And I, you know, I just kind of asked if I could help out. And, uh, I stayed at Bethany for a year, and then I transferred to the University of Tampa. And I did it again. I just volunteered to be a student grunt. Uh, and then graduated in 83 from the University of Tampa. And the job opened up here. Uh, I wasn't qualified, I knew that. Met with the athletic director and, and just said I would do whatever it takes. And um, so he gave me the job with uh, the caveat that I had to coach men's and women's tennis. And there was one other category of number eight on my contract that said do whatever else I expect you to do. And boy, those first, I don't know, 20 years, I, I still feel like I'm catching up because I just didn't have that foundation that everybody else had. I didn't work for somebody. I think my early success um, was a combination of blind luck and uh, and then my passion and energy kind of came out. I didn't really understand how how I was successful because uh, I had a couple of years and there when I wasn't. I didn't know how to fix it. So um, I took a little while of, of you know, searching myself and um, you know, I ended up mimicking and trying to coach like other coaches and realized that wasn't going to work. Um, went back to being myself. And then I think my real success uh, uh, happened after I was able to add assistant coaches. Um, the athletes have changed a ton um, in the sense of uh, how how impressive they are. They're you know, faster, stronger, bigger. And um, I think they're still the same people we coached years ago, but we have social media to deal with now. And, and uh, those, I, I guess those are a few of the things I think have changed. But it, it is still, and I, I think it still remains one of those great sports where we, um, we share a lot and people are willing to share their ideas and teach. And I, I've always loved that about it.